Linda just saw her daughter face the truth regarding her alcohol addiction. Now it's time for Linda to face her own truth. Your son, Ron, he's still with us. Ron, we've got, got your sister some help. Yes, but there's still a lot more to do and only, only time will tell at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, truth team, what say you to Linda? Ariva? Linda, what I want to say to you as a mom, first I just want to commend you for having the courage to hang in there with your daughter. I think you deserve a lot of credit for just having the courage to hang in there with your daughter. And I hope the help that we'll give you today, that will help you learn how to set appropriate boundaries, yes. how to stop enabling your daughter, mm -hmm. and how to help her grow up, mature, and be the young woman that I know, that we feel like she can be, and I know you believe she can be, because you've already shown you have so much love and, and just so much inspiration, I think, from this show today. I, I'm just, hey, at the end of the day, those are our babies. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Rosie. Make sure that as you are supporting her on, on her journey, make sure that you're not drinking. Make sure that your partner that you have is not drinking because you want to be able to support from a place of love, authenticity, and a place of trust because she's going into a new journey. And it's not just the 30 days, it's everything that happens after those 30 days. Agree. Yeah. Okay. Judge Mary. I am so proud that you are standing here and not in front of some judge in a courtroom because your daughter committed a crime or killed someone. So don't be afraid to reach out and say, I need your help. Call everybody you can. Find someone who can Save reach out daughter. and touch your daughter. Yeah. Um, and you've done that. And that's, that's commendable because it's so much nicer to see you here and not in a courtroom. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Judy. <laughs> Linda, Ronnie took a really important step today, but you need some support too <laughs> because You've been doing this on your own. I mean, talk about shame and guilt. You're hiding it from people. You're trying to manage everything by yourself. And that's why I suggest to you that you really should look into Al-Anon. What Al-Anon does is gives you a community of people who are going through similar things. They have loved ones who are drinking or using drugs, but it allows you to still hold good boundaries and move on with your life and have a good life for you even if they are struggling and have ups and downs in their recovery. And we also wanted to give you some more professional resources. We, reach, we reached out to therapist Marjorie Landron at the Healing Tree Wellness Center in your hometown. Oh my God. And she's gonna <laughs> go ahead and provide you with six free therapy sessions so that you can work on things for yourself. <laughs> Mama, this is where you walk by faith and not by sight. Don't give up. Thank All right. you. So thank you, Mom, and thank you, Linda. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. We commend it. you so much for thank having you. the courage to oh, face the truth, and we wish you the absolute <laughs> best, okay?